Okay, so uh, picture the scene. You um, you're just chilling out in your uh, in your dining room on your laptop, editing some Call of Duty footage, and Jason Statham bursts through the door, and uh, and he's grabbing his heart, and uh, and he says, "Tom, I need a map of Hull. What am I going to do? I need to find a heart, or else I'll die." And that's where I come in, and uh, luckily I got out of that situation. Um, unharmed, but it might happen to you. So I'm gonna wrong program. I'm gonna teach you guys how to save Jason Statham if he ever knocks on your door. Um, so what we want to do first is import your clip. Um, now this applies for Call of Duty, but I've decided to use some real life footage. I filmed on my Canon, but I filmed it just now when it's dark and uh, well, basically the quality looks shite. So this might not be as good as uh, what you can get out on Call of Duty because, you know, everyone loves Call of Duty, including Jason Statham. And um, so what we've got here, um, what I have done is I've imported my clip and I've trimmed it down to what I want. So there's just over six seconds there uh, of just a panning shot of my wall. And I want to map, map, oh, that's a funny word to use because I'm going to motion track um, a map of full onto there. So in case Stephen comes back and wants another map of hole. Um if he ever like gets in trouble with his penis or something like that. Um, I was just guessing. But anyway, so we've got our footage there and what you want to do, um I'll I'll start with the advanced motion tracking once um after effects responds. Thank you. Sometimes when uh, after effects crashes, the bottom bit down here. Just goes crazy. It's weird. It scares me. Um, anyway, so what I want to do is add this to render queue uh, by going to composition, add to render queue. Um, then you take your render setting. I'd recommend using lossless. Click lossless and then click it um, there where it's yellow. And you'll get this window pop up here. And you want to go to format and change it from video to windows to. JPEG sequence. Go to format options and you want your quality to be on 10. Um, and just hit OK, hit OK. I click cancel there because I've already done it because I'm prepared. And then you want to obviously save it to wherever I've got it. Mine saved in my Zer box for box folder. Um, but anyway, I'll close that render queue and um, now we're going to open up Mocha which is a motion tracking program which you get with After Effects if you got it legally mm -hmm. and basically it looks like this um, and I've already imported my JPEG sequence you do that by uh, opening Mocha clicking create a new project and then you import your clips here da -da -da, go through, click next next until you get to your final screen and um, you need to set your frame rate to whatever your frame rate is uh, recorded at. This was shot at 59.94 NTSC. Yeah, and then um, Mocker will freeze for a bit, and up in this top right corner, there'll be a bar reaching 100, and that just means it's caching the um, the images. And if you if you look at that, it's rendered out in a, an image sequence, but it plays as a whole video. So basically, what we want to do is um, take this tool here that looks like a, a pistol, kind of, with an X next to it, and just click. And then you want to just find the area that you want to motion track into, and just keep clicking until you make all the points. And then once you've made what you want to motion track in, right click, and it'll close it. Now, if you uh, motion track into a flat surface, you want to click Align Surface. And make sure that your um, your black bar is at the beginning of your timeline, and then you just want to click this little icon here, track forwards, and there it's just going to track through. Um, I don't have a clue what was. Okay, I'm going to stop that because that has completely fucked up. I think it might be the grain. Um, now I'm just going to get rid of this and 
create a new one. And I'm going to create it on here. And I'm not going to line surface and we'll just test this. And see if it tracks forward. And if this doesn't work, um, then I'll just show you the basic motion tracking. I'm sorry about that, but I think what you need to do really is um, ensure that in your clip you have like a hard edge or a hard colour that isn't in the rest of the shot. So like what a lot of the pros do is um, they'll take their clip, but then they'll just um, have like they they do this um, before they record, before they film, and they'll just put like a a little black box on their green screen or on their footage and then they can motion track to that so say that's like a sticker on the wall and they'd stick that there and that would be their reference point to motion track from. so that's what a lot of people do and if you're recording a Call of Duty cinematic then uh, just like make sure you've got like a, a different coloured part and that you can link that to if you click back onto Mocha Look there, you can see it's just still, and it's moving with the um, with the picture up on the wall. So that should track through. And sometimes, if your track points go off screen, um, it'll just stop tracking forward, and it'll pop up. Um, and then other times, most of the time, when it goes off screen, your track points are just going to go crazy because obviously they've got nothing left to track. So. Um, I just let this track, there we go, look, tracking terminated prematurely, that's because it went off screen, but we've got all of this tracked here. And that looks pretty steady. Sometimes you're not going to get perfect, but it all depends on the footage. This was a really quick piece of footage, so if I can get this track looking good, then, you know, you can work wonders with your, um, with your Call of Duty cinematics. So next thing to do is click export tracking data down here and you want to if you um if you want something to stay completely still stay the same size same rotation and not move one bit in any way shape or form like Jason Statham's neck just rigid um then you go corner pin but um what we want here is because there's a, a bit of movement um, like panning, we want to go transform data and click copy to clipboard. So once it's done that, go into After Effects and uh, create a null object and just go Edit, Paste or um, Control V. Right, so as you can see here, there's a lot of like little um, track references there and our uh, null box is up there. So what we want to do is hit U. Click off the anchor point keyframe and just change its values to zero, zero. Okay, and now um, let me just keep that up there. Import whatever file it is that you want to motion track. So I've got this um, Google Earth picture of hull. Um, what am I doing? I'll scale that down. Now before you um, actually track the motion you want to make the object look like it's actually there um, so by doing that make it a 3d layer adjust the rotation a bit so it fits with the rotation of the um, image of the picture on the wall And once you're done tweaking, um, I suggest just hit F4 and set it to overlay. Or if not overlay, then just bring down the transparency just a little bit and maybe apply a tint. And just take the colors. Obviously. That's a bad idea. Uh, and then you can just fiddle with how much it blends. But I think that looks quite cool. Um, it's not brilliant, but uh, next thing then you want to do is just take this little snail icon, 
so you get this like whip kind of thing coming off and just drag it on until it highlights a null object and let go and then what the fuck Sorry. I am not understanding why this isn't did I actually start it from the beginning? The beginning shot. Right, I go undo. Just get rid of all this until we have right. Make the null again. Just start it again. This is going bad. And apply that anchor point. Keyframe off set zero zero apply clip shrink to fit. It would be better if you had something that actually fit inside the box. Okay. Parent that to that and No! No! What is it? What is it doing? I, don't, I actually do not understand. Ah. I might just. I'll upload this and uh, you can get the basic gist, but I managed to fail. So just see if I can. My computer's been so slow. I think it's because it's grainy in there. Um, I'll upload this and you can, uh, if you've got questions, you can ask me, but sorry, I, I, I don't know why that's not working, but I'll have another tutorial up either later tonight or tomorrow about After Effects and Joe. <sighs> so yeah.